Well, a very, very good evening, everyone. Welcome to YouTube. My name is Tom Horton, and this, if I press the right button, you might be able to see me. Yes, this is my YouTube channel. It's a great pleasure to have your company uh, here today, and uh, thank you so much for, uh, for joining me for our monthly live stream that we're getting into the habit of doing now, and here we are for the month of June. Um, if you listen really carefully, no, you might not be able to hear them, but the birds are singing outside. We've got the door open. We've got all these lights on, <laughs> which makes it very, very hot in here. But anyway, a very warm welcome to you. And tonight's live stream is entitled Me and My Music. Um, for those of you who do not know, I am very proud to be a self-published composer. I have published no less than five different music books for organ, piano, and keyboard. And tonight, for the next three quarters of an hour or so, uh, I hope you're going to um, let me indulge as I saturate you with song after song uh, written by myself. So we're going to have some music on the virtual theatre organ, and we're going to have some music on the piano, and then later on I've got to play you a piece virtually. Uh, this is going to be a bit Blue Peter, one that we recorded earlier, and I'm going to change the piano over for the keyboard, and we're going to play some music from there. But we better say a few hellos. Now I am very conscious tonight, there might not be many people watching tonight, as it is beautiful weather here in the UK. Um, we've had lots of cold rainy weather and suddenly it's gone way hey. It's the most gorgeous evening here um, but didn't want to miss our live stream. So let's uh, do a few hellos first of all. Uh, we've got Rob. Rob. Hello Rob. Again saw Rob earlier for his uh, organ lesson earlier today. Uh, Rob love, lives up in the uh, the north of England and uh, says looking forward to tonight's performance and hoping that the bottom three blues figures in the program. Bob, uh, Bob, Rob, we will we will certainly play that for you. Um, Harold from Germany, uh, Bavaria to be exact, listening on my balcony. Well, Harold, that is the life. Uh, we've got one of our YouTube. 
members and patrons. We've got uh, Steve up in Edinburgh. Welcome, Steve, and hope you're enjoying your new toy as well. And uh, Steve and Pat are on, and uh, anybody else who's joining, please do say hello in the chat if you can. So, what's all my music about? Well, I've written music almost my entire life. I've done lots of different things. But let me, let me show you some of the books first of all. We've got the Pianistic Piano Book range. There's three books in this series. Pianistic, Pianistic 1 and Pianistic 2. We've got uh, Power On, which is my latest book. This is for home organ and home digital keyboard players, for you guys who like to play. And I can't show you the other book because it's over there. But anyway, it's called Theatre Organ Originals, um, a book written for the theatre organ in mind. And that's what we started with there. We started with something called Console Up, that big number that brings the console up from the floor. Um, Philip Russell's just joined us. Hi, it's from Philip in Hemel Hempstead. Good to see you from you, Philip, and hope you enjoy making music at home. Now, all the music tonight um, is going to be music, that, as I say, I have composed. And if you're thinking, actually, do you know, I'd like a new piano book, maybe a new keyboard book. Well, let me show you and tell you where you can get these from. These books are available for you to purchase if you want to treat yourself, maybe yourself or someone in the family or a friend who plays the, the keyboard or the piano. And you can get these um, primarily by visiting my website, tomhorton.co.uk. Um, I'm very proud to be a self-employed musician and selling my books is, of course, one of the ways um, I... Uh, pay my meagre living, as it were, my bills. Um, but anyway, so, so do hope if you enjoy the music, you'll consider perhaps treating yourself to a book after the live stream. Um, we can send the books anywhere in the world, but um, now I'm also selling my books digitally online. So again, if you head to my website, tomhorn.co.uk, you'll be able to visit Sheet Music Plus and sheetmusicdirect.com, um, where you can buy some of the uh, pieces individually and uh, also download some of the books as well. Anyway. So we're now going to go over to the piano, and I'm going to play you some music from my piano books. Um, not just a, not too much talking, because I don't like to do too much talking, because people know I can talk for England. Um, so let's start off with uh, one of the, uh, this is the easiest book in the piano range, and this goes from kind of post-grade one. Um, there's a couple of arrangements in here, Bill Baby, that's not one of mine. Um, but uh, yeah, so, so let's just play a few tunes. I'll tell you what they are afterwards. Uh, but let's start with this one, a little funky piano disco star number entitled um, a Rainbow Sorbet. Thanks for watching, everybody, and speak to you in a bit.
that's a lovely tune. That's one of my favourites, if I do say so myself. And that is called Soul Bay Solitude. And that piece is based on the seaside town of Southwold, which is not far from where I live. And many of you will know I play uh, the organ at the cinema there um, in Southwold, which we featured on the channel here. Before that, we had at the beginning Rainbow Sorbet, a very funky um, disco style number. And in the middle was a little piece called A Penguin's Curiosity. So that's the first book in the range, folks, pianistic. So it's ring bound, lots of nice, uh, easy to turn pages. And it goes from a very simple post grade one sort of level, maybe just after a little year of playing the piano, and builds up from there. So once we've done that book, you then move on to book one. And that's like the little start book. So in here we've got some <clears throat> nice pieces. We've got a mambo, a bit of swing, uh, a bit of rumba. So we'll play some of these as a, an arrangement in this book as well. Um, but uh, let's go in this one. Let's try Midnight Mambo. I hope you enjoy the music, folks. Please do hit that subscribe button. And thanks for joining me here on Keyboard Skills Pro. Lovely to have your company. And here we go with um, Pianistic Book One, um, Midnight Mambo, composed by myself, Tom Horton. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but the, the, uh, that one's called um, The Raindrop Rumba. And I was writing my book, I think I need a song, I need a song, I need a song. Oh, what haven't I done yet? I haven't done anything Latin, done some stuff. And no word of a lie, I was sitting in the top studio at the piano and it started raining. And I'd already thought, maybe a Latin American number. Um, and then I thought, hmm, it's raining. Raindrops, I thought Chopin wrote a song about. About um, raindrops, I thought, hmm, maybe I could. And that's where Raindrop Romba came from. Before that, <coughs> excuse me, we had It's Only Minor, which is a little play on the fact that it's in G minor. And before that was The Midnight Mambo. So there we go, everybody. So thank you so much for watching so far, folks. And as I say, all these books, I know a lot of you watching have already got copies of many of these books, so thank you so much in advance. But if you're watching around the world, I'm thinking, hey, I'd like to have a version of these piano books on my iPad or my tablet. You can download and purchase them from sheetmusicdirect.com 
or sheetmusicplus.com. And in fact, the piano books now, you can even buy just individual pieces. So if you go onto one of those sites, Sheet Music Plus or Sheet Music Direct, you can search for my name, Tom Horden, and you will find those pieces there. So as you get a little bit better, you then go on to um, part two. So this is my third book in the piano series. And this is where things start to get a little bit more interesting. Um, so let's play, uh, what shall we do? Uh, let's do clowning around. I like clowning around. See, the great thing in these books, look, the physical book is ring bound. Keith Blaney's just joined us. Good evening, Keith. Ernie's on from Iowa. Ernie, a pleasure. Tom McCauley's joined us from Southport. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. And everyone else who is taking the trouble to spend the this evening inside. Although Harold in Germany is doing the best thing, um, I'm sure he's got a very nice glass of beer, and I don't know why I've put bluebells in the breeze on, because I, I don't know, I just did. Anyway, uh, let's play Clowning Around, Stride Piano, everybody.
and if you're sitting there thinking, that sounds familiar, well, that is called, haha, Satipedy. And it's an homage to Eric Satie, who wrote the wonderful Gymnopodies. And that's my take on his style there in a jazz um, style. Well, everyone, well, thank you so much for listening so well. Let's do one more to finish off this segment of the live stream. And this is a pianistic book too. Now, don't forget all these books, the piano books, you can buy them online. You can buy them as physical books. I can send them all around the world, but do check out. Uh, if you go to my website, you can actually see demo um, a demo track to listen to the book. Uh, there are demonstration uh, tracks I've just said. Well, I don't know why I'm just repeating myself. <laughs> There's a, as an example scores, that's what I was going to say. So you'll be able to see PDFs and these. And you can get these on Sheet Music Plus or sheetmusicdirect.com um, as individual pieces or as the whole book. I'm going to finish off with this little number, um, which is called Fire Moon. It's a very punchy and explosive piece of music based around um, uh, Jupiter's moon Io, which apparently in our solar system has the most volcanic activity. Alan Robinson from Leeds is here. And Peter Steen's just joined us. Welcome, gentlemen. Lovely to meet Alan a few months ago up in um, Osset. He came to my theatre organ concert. It's lovely to uh, put a um, a, a, a face to the name, finally. And Peter says, uh, Sorry I'm late, only just picked it up. Been to the city of York for the day, so just home. Oh, York's lovely. Yeah, really nice. Harold put earlier in Germany, Yes, beer indeed. See, we know Harold. <laughs> anyway, enjoy this one, folks. Fire Moon. I wrote the thing, I can barely play it myself. <laughs> That's in mostly in 5 4 time. So it's five beats to the bar. One, two, dum, dum, bum, bum. And it's in six flats. So um, book two kind of climbs and climbs and climbs up to the eighth grade level. Well, there we are, everybody. Well, thank you so much, folks, for listening there. And um, that concludes the first portion of tonight's live stream, which is music. Me, me and my music, Tom Horton, and the music that I have composed over the years, and um, now very proud to be selling uh, my own pieces of music online and through traditional music books. So you just heard a selection of pieces from my piano book series entitled Pianistic. So thank you so much for listening to those. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to play another piece. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Yes, Suffolk's finest gin. No, if only it was. It's only water. Uh, we are going to play um, some music now. Um, on the keyboard, but before that I've got to do a little bit of moving around because I've only got one music stand in here So I've got to unplug the piano and unwire everything and then plug in my digital keyboard get that powered up and set up for the next song 
So I'm just going to do a little bit of prepping while I'm chatting to you. But in the meantime, folks, if you have enjoyed the music so far, please, please do hit um, the subscribe button, ding the bell. Um, and if you're enjoying the live streams and just think, well, actually, unfortunately, Tom, I can't buy any of your books because I don't play the keyboard or the piano. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member, becoming a patron on patreon.com forward slash keyboard skills pro. Um, and um, on any of the videos that you watch, there's a, a little heart button just under the video that says thanks. And if you just fancy a little, little buy me a coffee tip, that is much appreciated and it all helps along the way. So, oh, we've just got young Jack on. Despite having your books, I don't think I'll attempt that one for a while. Jack is a very fine up and coming young musician. So Jack, yes, that one might be a little bit down the line there, but hopefully one day, uh, maybe you can arrange it for the theater organ, Jack. That, that could be it. Anyway, folks, so bear with it. Now, of course, I don't want to just do this. I'm just gonna move out of the way. Now, normally we would just put on the holding screen like that. But of course, the problem with that is, is that it doesn't sound or look particularly good, and you don't want to hear me swearing at myself while I'm trying to unplug everything. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna play another piece from my theatre organ book. Let me just quickly grab that. I apologize for going on camera, but hit, oh, hang on, you took the TV off the wall. Why, hey. Um, so this is the book, I wrote this during lockdown. It's called Theatre Organ Originals. Look at that, oh yes. Okay, well, that's the advert over. And this contains five new pieces specifically for the theatre organ. You also get performance notes. Hundreds of copies of this book have gone around the world. Um, so this one, you can again, you can get this from the website. And there's a cracker of a tune, which actually, um, Harold, who is watching, Harold from Bavaria, if you search for this piece, you will see Harold playing it. He did a great tribute recording to it. And this one's called The Forgotten Cinema. And this piece was inspired by some photos I saw of the majestic, I always get this wrong, I think it's Crawley Heath or Cradley Heath. I, I, someone will correct me. Anyway, it's a cinema that has a lot of its original fittings, um, but it's been derelict more or less since I think ooh, the 50s or 60s when it closed down. It's been used as a warehouse and as a bike shop. Anyway, but still inside the cinema is the Christie Theatre Organ, which is in a very sorry state. Um, but there's lots of things still left in there. So, um, and if you go onto the internet, you'll, you'll be able to see pictures of it um, on a, um, a cinema um, sort of history website. Anyway, so I thought, well, you know, cinema had a bit of a down climb. The, the theatre organs were being scrapped or chucked out of the theatres. Preservation groups and individuals were trying to rescue these Wurlitzers and Comptons. But spare a thought for the cinema manager, who maybe was made redundant thanks to television coming in or whatever. So his cinema has closed down and he goes late at night for one last look around. And he walks around the cinema and this is the little tune that happens. Um, so, uh, oh, 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 Jack's in there, Cradley Heath. Thank you, Jack. The majestic cinema, Cradley Heath. Check it out on the internet. Anyway, folks, I'm gonna put this screen on. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna press play. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy this little tune, probably the hit of the book. And uh, Harold's recorded this, so if you wanna check it out on YouTube, he's done a very fine recording on his Roland Atelier home organ. This is The Forgotten Cinema, and I'll see you in a bit with some keyboard music. Thanks so much.
Welcome back everybody and I hope you enjoyed the gentle organ piece just before that entitled The Forgotten Cinema. Now, that little piece was entitled Dancing in My Arms. So this is my latest book, um, uh, which came out oh, about a year ago, I suppose, called Power On. And this is a, a book designed for home organ keyboard uh, players and um, it's single stave. Might as well go back to the older. Cameroo, um, and you can see it's single stave with chord symbols, so sort of standard style uh, music book. And that was a quick step called Dancing in My Arms. If you just joined us, folks, this is me and my music. My name's Tom Horton. Thank you for joining me on my Keyboard Skills Pro YouTube channel. Please do hit subscribe and ding the old Liberty Bell so when we go live and do new videos, um, we, uh, you'll be notified in your inbox. And tonight is all pieces of music composed by my little old self and uh, hopefully some of you might consider treating yourself to one of the books if you haven't yet already done so. Um, let's play this one, Far Away Romance. This is a pretty tune. Um, this was written at the request of one of my keyboard students. She said, can you play a tune with a pan flute? She's Scottish, in case you hadn't noticed. It's quite good, actually. Can I do a Scottish accent, somebody once said. Um, <laughs> this one goes like this. Enjoy. And that's the first song in the book. Now you can see there that uh, we've got a nice, easy to read score because the score is printed about 50% bigger than most standard books. So I've had a lot of great feedback from people saying, thank you so much, I can actually read this on my organ and keyboard. And that goes to the other text. I've also put in uh, preset numbers, preset one, preset two, suggested places where you might uh, change settings and also use fill-ins and endings. So that's far away romance. Well, Rob earlier said, hey Tom, maybe um, you could feature 
the bottom three blues. Well, I'll be pleased to do that. This actually started out as a piano piece, and um, I, I wrote, no, it didn't, sorry, I'm completely wrong there. And this started out as a kind of a, an organ piece, but it, it kind of went onto the keyboard really well. So we can use a feature on our keyboards called on bass, which is where we change the normal style fingering mode to on bass. And what that does, look, when I play, say, an A minor, if I then play a G on the bottom, look, you hear a G from the bass player. But if I play E7 like this, look, there's a G sharp as opposed to the normal E. So basically, with my lowest thing key, I can tell the bass player in the style section what to do. So it kind of allows me on the keyboard to play a bit like pedals as I would on the organ. So let's slow this style down. Why is it called bottom three blues? Well, the bottom three draw bars on a traditional jazz organ produce that sort of sound. So here we go, the bottom three blues. With the right button this time. Western skies. Very, very rare to hear a, a Western theme, so I thought, hey, I'm going to write my own. Rob says, many thanks, Tom. Love that bottom three blues. Thanks so much, Rob. Appreciate your support and your kind words. Well, everybody, that's... Well, look at that, look. 45 minutes. Oh, my goodness me. So I'm going to uh, play a couple more numbers now. Um, in the back of the book, by the way, we've got a chord chart, so it tells you all about... Um, the uh, the chords, so mo all the chords we use in the book are all labelled out here. The Theatre Organ Book, 
um, also comes with additional registrations for theatre organs and performance notes and the piano books have inside performance notes as well. So I'll just uh, say my bye byes now because we'll be finishing off in a short while but thank you so much for watching, really can't appreciate it. Um, how lucky I am to sit here at the bottom of my garden in my second studio with the door open, blue skies, um, absolutely wonderful and um, what a wonderfully relaxing and enjoyable time um, I've had this evening. Thank you so much for your company. I know already many of you have my books. Thank you for purchasing them and for your support. Uh, it really is appreciated. Oh, I nearly forgot. Hey, um, tomorrow, big day here on Keyboard Schools Pro Gang. Tomorrow is going to be the upload and launch of my 500th YouTube video. <laughs> Oh, God, that was a lot of effort. Why do I bother? No, it's brilliant. 500 videos I have recorded and uploaded to my YouTube channel since it started um, around about five years ago. I mean, I, I used to dabble at it, but then I started it properly in October 2018. That's when the channel actually started with this regular weekly video. And we used to do loads of things. We, we've done two minute tips, we've done live stream. I think this is about the 68th live stream that we've done, it's crazy. Um, and there's YouTube shorts, but the 500th video is going live tomorrow. And what the 500th video is, is basically me going, oh, I've done 500 videos, all right. Um, but seriously, thank you so much. Um, for your support and everything. Please do hit subscribe, check out the books on my website if you fancy something or maybe you've got a family member who thinks, hey, you, you know, Uncle Fred plays the piano, can't think what to get him for his birthday or for Christmas, well worth treating yourself to. And you can buy the books digitally, uh, well the piano books digitally that is, um, on the aforementioned sheet music websites. Um, so as Peter says, well done, here's the next 500. Stephen Pat say, well done Tom. Thank you very much. Um, so, I'm going to finish off with two pieces. These are good fun. We're going to have a polka. This is called the Flip Flop Polka. See if you can find out why. And then a very funky dance number called Starship Popcorn. Um, and if you want to hear more of these songs, we have, when we've launched the piano books and the theatre organ book and Power On as we're playing now, we have done actually... Uh, dedicated live streams which are on this channel so you can watch them again. Anyway everybody thank you so much for watching, really appreciate your time and your company on this very sunny evening here in England. Uh, oh, hang on a minute I've got to find a polka you used to have polka buttons on organs and keyboards in the old days. Lowry's and things have polka buttons. The world button on this keyboard a heck, blimey, what the heck's that? A hack and brat. Oh I know that anyway here we go. That's it. Right, we're there, we're there, we're there. And here we go with the flip-flop polka. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tatty bye and good... Wow, HP ASMR says, um, holy moly, that's so crazy. It is HP ASMR. I don't know who you are, but thank you so much. And Harold Aronok says, 500, yeah, pretty crazy, folks, pretty crazy. I'm trying at the moment to build my subscriber level up. So if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Here we go, folks, the Flip Flop Polka and Starship Popcorn from my keyboard organ book, Power On. Thanks for watching, gang. See you next time. Bye-bye.